Hello again. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do some red eye removal in GIMP. GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, and it's basically a free open source alternative to Adobe Photoshop. It gives you all sorts of tools to manipulate and alter your images and photographs. So you can see here we've got a picture of Mom's Husky Shadow who has some red eye going on. Now this is just a quick caveat we're not going to be able to easily restore somebody's real natural eye color and texture. You can't really add information to a photo that's not already there to begin with. You can just sort of manipulate what is there. So all we're going to try to do is to replace this bright distracting red color with something that looks a little bit more natural. So we're going to zoom in on one of these eyeballs and your first step is we're going to select the fuzzy select tool. It's this thing that looks like a wand with a little star on the end of it. And the setting that you care about the most on this is the threshold setting. Basically what you want to do is you want to get the highest setting on threshold that only selects the area that you care about. So if say if we go to high and we click here, it's going to select all kinds of stuff you don't want to mess with. And if you go to low, it may not get all of the area that you want to mess with. So we want to get the highest setting that we can that only selects the stuff we care about. So there's 73, 74, about 75. Not 75 is a little too high. We got one little fleck out of here. So let's go down to 74. Oh, see 74 is a little bit because we clicked a slightly different pixel. So let's go down one more, or let's try to click in a different pixel. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to click Select. We're going to select Grow. And we're going to enter 1, and we're going to click OK. What this does is it grows this selection border one pixel in every direction to make sure that we don't miss the stuff that's under the selection border. Now we're going to click Colors desaturate, desaturate. And we're going to go to mode and we're going to pick the option that gives us the darkest result here. So there's luminance, luma, lightness, average. Looks like luma gave us the darkest result. Click OK. Click colors, curves. Click right smack dab in the middle of this line. And we're going to go down and right until we get a result that looks reasonably natural. That looks okay. We've got a little bit of red hinting here, but I'm not worried about that because by the time we zoom out, it's just gonna look like part of the coloration of his fur. I think I kinda like that color. I think I like that one. So I'm gonna click okay on that. And so we've corrected one of his eyes. So now what we want to do is we want to go over here. We want to zoom in on his other eyeball. And we're going to do the same thing. Fuzzy here. And let's go up a notch. One more. Ah, too much. Let's try a different pixel. Ah, see, it doesn't really seem to matter where we click. We're getting stuff outside that. So let's click in here. All right, so 75. Then we hit Select, Grow, OK, Colors, Desaturate, Desaturate, Luma, Lightness, Average. Looks like Luma again. Now what we want to do is we want to get both eyes sort of in the frame here together because we want the eyes to be roughly the same shade. So we're saying colors, curves, grab right smack in the middle, sort of pull down and to the right until this looks about like the other one. That looks pretty good to me. In fact, I think a little, I went a little bit dark because to me at least it looks like it kind of pops out from the eyeball just a little bit but it's not too bad and I think they pretty well match let's click OK 
select all so we don't have that little flashing border zoom back out and we have removed the red eye from this picture of mom's dog so hopefully you found this little tip useful and informative if you have any comments questions or suggestions please feel free to post them below and as always this is marcus out y'all have a good one